Today, we are talking about the hidden code behind reality. What if everything you see, the trees, the sky, your body, even space and time, are not fundamental aspects of reality, but icons on a vast interface designed by consciousness itself? This is the revolutionary idea proposed by Donald Hoffman, a cognitive scientist whose interface theory of perception challenges the deepest assumptions of science and philosophy. Hoffman suggests that evolution did not shape our senses to show us truth, but to hide it. Like a desktop on a computer, the world we perceive is a simplified representation, a user interface that allows consciousness to interact with deeper dimensions of reality. Behind the veil of perception lies something unimaginable, a universal network of conscious agents, each participating in the grand process of creation, the interface theory of perception. Hoffman's theory begins with a striking question. Do we see reality as it is, or as it helps us survive? Through mathematical modeling, he and his colleagues found that natural selection favors fitness over truth. Organisms that perceive reality accurately are less likely to survive than those that perceive efficiently. For example, when you see a red apple, your brain is not showing you the apple's true nature, its quantum fields or wave functions, but an icon symbolizing something useful. Just as a folder on a computer screen doesn't reveal its circuits, our sensory world hides the underlying code of reality. In essence, we are navigating a cosmic interface a simplified dashboard created by consciousness to experience itself safely within its own infinite field. The end of physicalism. If perception is an interface, then what we call matter is not fundamental. Hoffman argues that space, time and physical objects are not the bedrock of existence, but constructs of mind. Quantum physics already hints at this. Particles don't exist with definite properties until observed. Space and time themselves appear to dissolve at quantum scales. The interface theory simply takes this one step further, suggesting that the physical universe is not the source of consciousness but its projection. The brain, too, is part of the interface, not its creator. What we call neurons and synapses are icons within our perceptual dashboard, representations of processes that are ultimately mental, not material. This inversion of perspective collapses the age-old dichotomy between matter and mind, conscious agents, the building blocks of reality. If physical objects are not fundamental, what is? Hoffman proposes that conscious agents, entities capable of experience and decision, are the true constituents of reality. Each conscious agent interacts with others through networks of perception and action, generating the dynamic play we call existence. You are not a product of matter. Rather, matter is a product of your participation in a universal web of conscious relations. This idea resonates with both ancient philosophy and modern science. It mirrors the Vedantic notion of Atman and Brahman, and parallels panpsychist interpretations of quantum reality. In Hoffman's vision, the universe is not dead machinery, but a living field of awareness communicating with itself through infinite interfaces of experience, the collapse of the objective world. This theory challenges the very notion of an objective observer independent reality. Our sciences, technologies and measurements all assume that what we perceive reflects something out there. But as Hoffman points out, even the instruments we use, telescopes, microscopes, quantum detectors, are themselves extensions of our interface. They do not bypass perception. They refine it. Reality, then, is not a fixed backdrop, but an interactive field of awareness responding to the act of observation. The world you see is personal yet universal a shared projection built from overlapping conscious interfaces. When multiple observers agree on an event, it's not because it's objectively there, but because their conscious systems have synchronized their interpretations of the underlying awareness. 
space and time as virtual constructs. One of Hoffman's most radical claims is that space and time are part of the interface, not the underlying reality. Just as the icons on a screen exist only in the context of the desktop, spatial and temporal dimensions arise only within our perceptual framework. In deep meditation or altered states, mystics often report experiences beyond space and time. Awareness without boundaries or sequence. Hoffman's mathematics suggests that these reports may not be poetic metaphors, but glimpses beyond the interface. The deeper reality is not spatial, not temporal, but purely relational, a multidimensional network of consciousness. Our familiar world, then, is a projection, a holographic simplification that allows infinite awareness to explore itself in finite form. The Implications for Science and Spirituality Hoffman's interface theory bridges two worlds that have long been at odds, science and mysticism. Where science seeks empirical models of perception, mysticism has long taught that reality is a projection of mind. The Buddha described the world as a dream within a dream, while Plato spoke of shadows on a cave wall. Hoffman's work gives these ancient intuitions mathematical grounding. If consciousness is the foundation of existence, then the goal of inquiry shifts from studying external phenomena to understanding the structure of awareness itself. This reorientation invites a profound humility. The universe is not something we look at. It is something we are participating in. Every act of perception becomes an act of creation, awakening from the interface. To live from this understanding is to awaken within the interface, to see through the icons of perception without rejecting them. The awakened do not deny the world, they recognize its symbolic nature. Every form, every color, every person becomes a portal to the deeper consciousness it represents. As Hoffman writes, the world is a user interface that consciousness uses to interact with itself. The task then is not to escape the interface, but to navigate it consciously, to remember that behind every appearance lies the infinite awareness that dreams it into being. When we see reality in this way, the universe transforms from a collection of objects into a communion of minds, each reflecting the one in countless forms. If you got to this point, remember to check out the description below for recommended and curated literature for you to expand on this topic. Donald Hoffman's interface theory does more than challenge physicalism. It restores wonder to our understanding of existence. If the world is an interface of consciousness, then life itself is a divine conversation, awareness discovering itself through perception. The separation between inner and outer dissolves, revealing a universe not of things, but of experiences within experiences. The invitation is simple yet revolutionary, to turn inward, to awaken to the consciousness that projects reality, and to see that what we call the world is the face of the infinite looking back at itself.